An impossible, difficult, what, Meg? I'm confused, I'm sorry. Oh, an impossible, difficult, plural. Ah, an impossible, difficult, plural. Yes, the mongooses. The mongoose. Or is it just mongoose? These are the questions that plague us. Apparently the official answer is you can actually use mongoose, but it, it doesn't sound particularly good. Um, but mongooses, we've got a whole load of mongooses, and look at that, one of them's just deposited a scent mark. Oh, and when you anal paste on a log, what could be better than then rubbing your cheek in it? Scent marking 101. <laughs> Byron says they're mongoosei. I still just prefer talking about them as just generic dwarf mongoose. Either way, James has been talking about this beautiful morning, and it is a beautiful morning. And we spoke about the possibility of animals coming up out to warm themselves up, and that's exactly what the dwarf mongoose are doing. That's why I've stopped where I have, so that they can take full advantage of the patches of sun. Luckily, they have each other to cuddle with. Oh, there we go. He's going to anal paste on top. Here we go. Very, very standard behavior. So as soon as one anal pastes, if another comes and smells it, they will anal paste on top of that. It's a way of marking their territory. And they do have territories, tiny little sort of roughly hectare to 10 hectare size territories. So a hectare is about a football field, give or take. About 10 football fields would be the maximum size of a dwarf mongoose territory depending on the number of dwarf mongoose in an area. There we go. More anal pasting on that particular log. Seems a poor choice of territorial marker, given that it's right in the middle of the road and is probably not likely to stay there. Look at that. Immediately alert to the call of the go-away bird and one of the youngest ones rushing back to the adults just to see if they should be... Oh, what a big stretch! to see if they should be concerned. Well, apparently they didn't like that. Well, by then, what have they seen that I haven't? Or was that just my high-pitched noise that I made? Anything in the skies? Nope. Okay. Well, by then, there were some in there as well. They'll come back out. They will come back out, we just have to sit patiently and wait. <laughs> While I sit patiently and wait for at least one dwarf mongoose, let's go over to Byron so that he can tell you about the plural of mongooses.